Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna look at how exercise can cut alcohol addiction and consumption by 50%. That's right. So this is the study, let me make it bigger, um, that I'm referring to. Um, well, the paper is linked in the, at the end, I thought I had shared the abstract, but I didn't. The point of the paper is that um, FGF21 or fibroplast growth factor 21 is a hormone that is released when you work out, but also when you drink alcohol. So FGF21 is a hormone secreted by the liver and the muscles during exercise. Also, when you drink alcohol, that raises endogenous or when you personally internally produce the FGF21. So both exercise and alcohol release it. In studies on vervet monkeys, when they gave them a similar chemical molecule um, to FGF21 called uh, an analog, which looks just like FGF21, when they injected them with it, that led to them dropping their alcoholic consumption or their alcohol consumption by up to 50%. This is huge. And so... As you can see here, actually, they also did that in rodents. So you can see in mice and in vervet monkeys um, who like alcohol, when they, um, when they consume the alcohol, that stimulates FGF21 production from the liver. And so the liver releases FGF21. And so now you have endogenous FGF21, which goes to the brain and signals the brain to reduce alcohol consumption. So FGF21 is sort of a protective mechanism. So when you drink alcohol, it leads to some damage in your liver cells. And that damage to the liver cells stimulates your liver to secrete FGF21 so that it would go to the brain and tell the brain to stop doing the behaviors that damage your liver, like drinking alcohol. And the great thing is that exercise, again, remember, exercise is a hermetic stressor, so it damages us a little bit. And so by causing minor damage in the liver, it also can trigger FGF21, and that can reduce consumption of addictive um, substances like alcohol. So this is from the paper, hepatocytes secrete FGF21, hepatocytes are liver cells, secrete FGF21 in response to endoplasmic reticulum stress and oxidative stress, and alcohol induces these forms of cellular stress, suggesting that FGF21 may be released as a protective mechanism to safeguard the damaged liver as a signal to the brain to consume less alcohol. So it's a way that your body's protecting you from further damaging yourself. That's why it releases the FGF1. The great thing is that exercise can also do that. Now, the reason why I love and recommend exercise so much is because exercise is so, so much more than just a tool for weight loss. It is one of the most potent anti-aging tools at your disposal. It obviously, now we know it lowers addiction, um, and not just from this study. I mean, there's countless studies showing that uh, it helps with addiction and cutting the urges. Um, it also regulates, upregulates neurotransmitters, right? When you're exercising, during that acute bout, during the exercise, you're releasing dopamine, endorphins, serotonin, all of those great mood regulators. But not only are you releasing them during the workout, you're also releasing or upregulating them during all the other hours of the day. So now when you wake up in the morning at baseline, you have a much better mental state because just at rest at baseline, you already are releasing more of those dopamine, opioids, or beta endorphins, which are your natural opioids, um, and you know serotonin and all of those mood regulators. So now you're naturally happier and more motivated. And you also get more energy, better and better sleep, et cetera. So, so many reasons why we should be moving. This is the Carnivore Calorie Bible uh, PDF guide that you can get. I know a lot of you loved it. So I up updated it a little bit with the calorie counts for um, commonly consumed foods on the carnivore diet. Check it out in the description box below. This is my Instagram if you want to connect. Everything linked in the description box below. And... This is my website, drsirazaldivar.com as well. Check out the coaching packages. And those are all the references of the studies um, that I've used for this video. So I hope this was 
helpful and I hope you are utilizing more exercise in your day-to-day -day life. And if you liked this type of content, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell icon because it really helps my channel out and I will see you in the next one.